only been held to 40 yards in the second half. We start the fourth quarter with North Carolina with the ball at the 45 yard line. Steve Martin here along with Dave Archer and Mike Hogwood, Daniel Trotta, and Tommy Vaden in the ACC Network Studios in Charlotte. Here's Rennie. Giovanni Bernard who's surging toward 100 yards today to stop short after a two yard game. You've got to find a way to keep yourself on the field and score. I think John Shoup now is going to have to change up a little bit and be a little bit more aggressive. There's got to be a more sense of an urgency on uh, North Carolina's part. Defensive is tightened on both sides. This is Giovanni Bernard and true freshman Anthony Ciccolo makes the stop. And that has not happened very often. This give North Carolina a chance to win. North Carolina, four of nine on third down, trailing 27 10. Play action for Renner. Has time. Has a man down there. And it is complete. Eric Heisman. Well, good job off play action. It's usually your safest protection. They had a tough time protecting Renner. A little double move again. Heisman starts outside, back to the inside on the post. Excellent throw from Renner. You use the play action protection because it's usually a seven-man protection. Give him a chance to sit in there. Ten after the 40-yard hookup from Bryn Renner to Eric Heisman. Pass with the slot to Heisman. Not much room there to the 14. Second down and seven. Let's take a Giovanni Bernard is in the tailback. He's got the ball. Breaks two tackles, but he won't get away from Andrew Smith. North Carolina, five of ten on third downs. The last time they went to third down, they dialed up a 40 yard pass. Hand off Bernard. He won't get enough for the first down, but he'll be close enough to make him think about going. Well, Armstrong's at safety. Fourth down and a long one and a half. They'll go to Bernard. Bernard pushes ahead, has the first down. Wow. It's going to be close at the six and a half. They need it to set up. at the lip of the end zone. Is the setback. Throwing Mr. Corey Harris and overthrows Tommy Streeter. Now second down at 10. Does Miami throw the ball in this situation? They've got Miller back there. Still plenty of time in this game in the fourth quarter here in Chapel Hill to throw to Corey Harris. Still back there extends the play and throws it out. Five of 11, third down, and they're not converted to one here in the second half. Draw play, Miller. Just looking for room, but may find more. There's a flag down on the play. He's brought down at the 20 and pushes the pile to the 22. But this may be coming back. There's Horn working right here against Nix. And it's going to happen just as Lamar Miller runs by. Watch him pull Nix back to him right there. And it allows Miller to slip in that hole. So. Harris in the shotgun in his end zone. Fakes the draw, the pass. Nearly picked off, intended for Dorsett. North Carolina sets up the return. Brown gets it. Brown at the 35. And he'll get good field position down to the 26 yard line. Miami 27 yard line after the short punt. And their defense held Bryn Renner at quarterback back to throw. See something in the flats. It is complete White Jones. Down to about the 21 yard line, a gain of about six. Unofficially 13 tackles for the second straight week. Renner with play action. Screen is out there complete. This is Bernard. Bernard shakes off a couple of arm tackles and gets the first down inside the 10. A runner, but he's an excellent pass receiver. The screen pass this time to set up for the bar to the left side. He just does a good job really on his own. Not a lot of blocks. Stiff arms two Miami defenders. He's able to extend the play enough to get him inside the 10-yard line. Now. He's already rushed for 100 yards. That's the fifth straight game for him. That ties a mark set in 1984 by Ethan Horton. Back 
backfield. Pass to Bernard. Bernard stretches this play inside the five. The three wide outs to the wide side of the field. Second down and goal. High snap. Draw play. Bernard looking for the end zone. Touchdown. Point after is good. North Carolina now 10 back. Giovanni Bernard takes it into the end zone and pulls the Tar Heels within 10 of Miami. Here in touchdown run. Close the gap to 10. This is Benjamin. And Benjamin lets it roll out of bounds. The question is, did he touch it? It doesn't appear that he did. He just played the ball game. Under five to play. North Carolina needs to get to the 32. Pass incomplete. Intended for Jones. And a great play on the corner by Mike Williams. And just, a, just a poor throw by Renner. It's too slow. It's the hit and the football. 4.38 left to go. Miami takes over at the North Carolina 29-yard line. You expect to see a lot of this man, Lamar Miller. And he will surge ahead to the 25 down to about the 24 yard line. Despite the fact that they did not rush the ball very well, they had exceptional play, especially in the first half, and quarterback to Corey Harris. Hand off Miller. Blast outside and almost broke it all the way. Gets down inside the 15, saving tackle by Matt Millett. Well, we talked about LeBron Hillary's. That wasn't the, the monster run, but it's big enough now to get the first down and extend the drive. He's just a he's a time bomb waiting to go off and just a shoestring tackle away from Merletti and putting that in the end zone and really nailing this one shot. And off Miller finds a hole and closes down quickly at the 10. Robinson in on the tackle for North Carolina. Hurricanes have had fourth quarter leads in the three games they lost. Here's Miller. He's going to be slowed up here now. North Carolina has a timeout in their pocket, and they may just take it here. No? Yes, they did. Right now, Miami's knocking on the door. 3.09 left to go. And we're looking at third down and about six. At the North Carolina nine yard line. Hand off Miller. North Carolina strings it out, and they'll hold him. At the 11 yard line. Copels, Reddick. Now five consecutive 100 yard rushing days for Gio Bernard. White claw on for a 27 yard field goal that is good. And Miami frost the cake here. With 2.19 left to go. 13 points ahead, 30 to 17 on White Claw's third field goal of the day, CC Network. White Claw will kick after the 27 yard field goal. Jay Thorpe will find field it on a hop. Thorpe. ACC's top kickoff at turn man in terms of yardage at 26. Gets a 21 yard at that time. It's a Miami defense that came in today. Uh, kind of middle of the road. They get up 24 points a game. But they have been played much better than that this afternoon. Well, they've given up 400 yards a game. And today only 327. This pass complete to Highsmith. Now they can't stop the clock. They'll stop it briefly here to set the chains. It's going to be a 23-yard catch by Eric Heismith that brings it to the 47-yard line of Miami. It's his fifth grab of the afternoon. Now if you're Al Golden, you don't want the explosion plays. That was a big explosion play there. Now you give up these kind of throws. You'll give those up all day long, but it's the 20-yard plus plays you don't want to give up. And that's going to be to tight end Aaron, Eric Ebron out of Greensboro, true freshman. Second down and four. Minute 45 left. Pass is complete. Question is, he did not get beyond the first down marker. That's going to be Giovanni Bernard. Brings up third down and one. Minute 34 to go. Perryman in on the tackle for Miami. North Carolina working without a timeout, and they're two scores back. Bernard gets the first down. Down to about the 36. North Carolina sees the clock stop to reset the chains. It'll start again once the chain gang is set. And it starts. 
At the 36. Renner to throw. Giovanni Bernard with a catch. And the run down to the 24 with a minute and six left. That's another he's, first he's, down. You can get away with the check downs as long as the check down gets the first down for you because it does stop the clock to move the chain so you don't lose any time. If those are tackled before the chains, then that's not what you're looking for. That's right. First and 10. 25, Renner. Pass to Bernard, and he'll get out of bounds after picking up a couple yards. It's after about the 20. They'll do that so five here yards. again with Miami playing this umbrella. You, this area and this area is where you're vulnerable deep. Second down and five. Renner fires one out. He's got a man open. Touchdown. Wilkins with the touchdown. And here comes more for the point after. Kick is good, and now North Carolina is only six back with 46 seconds left to go. Talked about that trip set where you're vulnerable. It's down through the middle or in the deep outside. And this time, Miami leaves that deep outside zone open. Just a little turn and go out of the slot. And a mistake by Mike Williams, number 41, the corner. He was in zone, and he jumped the underneath route and allowed that little wheel route and down the side. Players the charging down to try to take out that first line of Miami defenders. And hopefully the back-end guy is able to pick it up. You see Dwight Jones is on the field right here, the receiver. He's probably the guy that's going after the ball. Moore with a kick. He clears it for 10. It's still loose. North Carolina got it. Watch number seven, Telemac. Or that's number two, I'm sorry, number two. LeRon Bird. LeRon Bird had an opportunity at it and just did not cover the football. Curtis Campbell was able to get behind it and get there, and North Carolina has a life. They are 56 yards from what would be a tying score. Now, again, if you're a renter, you can't afford to throw the ball underneath over the middle if you're certain, unless you're certain they're going to get the first down. They have no timeouts remaining. Renner over the middle, complete by Jones. He's got the first down, although he was driven back. Ready to go as soon as they wind the clock. Russell Bodine says that's not the line of scrimmage. It's up with that to the 41. Here's Renner to throw. Pass complete to Bernard. Bernard can't get out of bounds, or did he? Here comes Renner. Here comes the pressure, and he's brought oh, down. Could not Big take a play. Set. Sean Spence. You got to get to kill the clock. You got to hurry up and line up and kill the clock. Renner's hurt. Trying to get everybody back there, and he'll down the football. That stops the clock with seven seconds. Well, how about the job of the senior stepping up? Sean Spence going to come off the edge. He's going to beat the block of the back, Gio Bernard, and get on the quarterback. Huge play by the senior for the Miami Hurricanes. Have another shot. Renner pass is complete lateral backward pass out there it goes and brought out of bounds as the clock expired. Thanks a lot Al you said earlier in the week this game would tell a lot about your football team. They made a statement today. Yeah, they, they, made, they, they worked hard now they played hard they competed again give Carolina a lot of credit man they never they never stopped either. They got a heck of a football club but a great win for us on the road here in Chapel Hill. What was the secret to getting your offense going early in this game. We got off to a fast start you know we were we were protecting Jacory really well. He was in rhythm. He was hitting his throws down the field. He was finding his secondary targets and, and again give them credit now they, they came after us like crazy in the second half Mike an ACC win like this on the road could really propel for good things down the stretch again it's just one at a time for us we're just trying to develop that consistent mindset right now all right it, it, you said uh, last week you weren't happy when you woke up the next day you're going to be happy tomorrow I'm sure right, I'm going to be happy you got a great test next week so it's, it's a great uh, it's a great uh, game next week to keep us grounded in Georgia Tech Al fun to watch your team today Thank congratulations you. appreciate it thanks all right Steve that is uh, obviously a very happy Al Gold and his Hurricanes and I think this is a huge huge road brand to get their record back up to 500. How about out?